Welcome to Tech Brother with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Excel file dynamically for stored procedure results in SSIS package by using script task. So this is very, very common requirement when we have a stored procedure and the definition of stored procedure can change. Let's say we have a stored procedure here that's selecting everything from the table called customer. So if I will run this stored procedure, I created this stored procedure, I selected all the columns now if I will execute this stored procedure, um, th these, these are the results that are uh, returned by this stored procedure. So we have uh, these uh, different columns. So tomorrow maybe you are using a lot of uh, dynamic SQL here in the stored procedure. Maybe you are using pivot and unpivot and uh, the number of columns can change. The problem with the uh, using an Excel destination in SSIS package, then you have to come back and remap uh, those columns. Uh, but in cases where it, your columns can change often and uh, it is really complicated, you go back every time and make changes. You would like to build something where you do not care about the definition of your store procedure. It doesn't matter if it return you one column or hundred column. As long as it return you some results, you would like to go ahead and create that Excel. So we, that's what we are gonna do. Here is our store procedure and uh, we are going to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and creating that SSIS package. Now go to the SSIS Packages tab, right click a new SSIS package. First of all, we will be creating this Excel file. So where we would like to create that Excel file, I'm going to provide a folder path. Uh, let's call the, this folder path variable and that's where we will provide our path. Why I'm creating a variable? Because I can use uh, these variables in the, the configuration and uh, whenever my path to change, it doesn't matter. I will just change the configuration value. So source path, that's where we would like to put our files. Here is the value and the add a backslash at the end. Now, from where, uh, which uh, stored procedure you would like to use. So we are going to call this one stored procedure name in this case uh, it is a dbo dot uh, let me see what it is dbo usp underscore customer so provide uh, the schema with it uh, that will be just fine we want that because store procedure can be in different schema so we would like to have a schema here and excel file name we would like to tell uh, what name of the excel file should be and in my case i'm going to go and say um, my customer file let's say and then the date time part will be added to this uh, my customer file uh, name and now we would like to have a sheet name and uh, this uh, I'm going to call this one custom sorry <laughs> uh, sheet name I'm going to call this one customer sheet so you see you have a freedom you can change these things for any of the store procedure you can change the file name you can change the sheet name and you can put it to any folder this gives really a lot of freedom where we can use the same package for multiple store procedures now i'm going to go ahead and create a new connection manager as we will be extracting the data from a sql server by running a store procedure so new and here we will provide a sql server instance name and then we will be telling you in which database this store procedure is test connection hit ok hit ok let's rename this one it's not a nice name so i'm going to rename to the db underscore connection db underscore connection and underscore tech brothers once i use this one in configuration i will always able to tell like okay this is a database connection and this is the database at the end so in your case maybe it is db connection and then your database name fine uh, let's save the package and uh, i would like to rename this package real quick um, dump data to excel by store procedure sp bring the script task here now we will be using these variables in the script task open the script task and here I'm using C sharp you you can use VB if you like but the script I'm going to provide is written in C sharp so go ahead and use these different user variables we have just created and here is the second one folder path and then we have a sheet name and then the last one we have a store procedure name 
now click on edit script I have written the script already so I'm going to copy from the techbrothersit.com you can open a techbrothersit.com once you are there you will be going to the SSIS video tutorial and then you will be going all the way to this uh, script task here in the script task you will see the post is written here so you will see how to create a excel file dynamically for stored procedure results in SSIS I click here and then go further down this part is already done if you are not allowed to watch videos in your uh, office you can use the post and the snapshots are there step by step you can follow along now here we have uh, these namespaces uh, we need to use some namespaces uh, as we are reading the uh, reading the data from a SQL uh, writing the data to the Excel and uh, uh, deleting the file maybe so in those cases we need these namespaces so we can use different function and instances uh, of these namespaces uh, click here go to the namespaces uh, and then go to the windows forms go to the next line here and uh, paste these uh, namespaces uh, that's good come to the public word main uh, and that's where we are going to put the code you can remove this uh, uh, dts dot task result why because i have uh, written uh, the uh, code in try catch block and uh, th this part is already there so once we copy from there you don't need this uh, copy from here all the way go back and end copy and then further go here and paste your code right here uh, go to the save button save all build if there is any error we can see that we can take care of that error uh, looks like everything is fine a uh, few things that I will tell you even they, 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 sh they should throw error but they, there is a, uh, we didn't get the error so that's fine I will show you First of all, I'm declaring a date time uh, variable here. And then what I'm saying, uh, I'm saving uh, the date uh, time uh, and uh, here, see, this is the format I'm saving uh, to this one. So I can use this date time function uh, with my Excel file name and uh, log file. So if the fa uh, error happened, we were writing the information to the log file. So we, here we have Excel file. These are the variables I have created uh, here in uh, uh, skip task uh, and using the value of our SSIS uh, package variables. Uh, now Excel file name, folder path, stored procedure name, sheet name. This should be case sensitive. So you would like to take a look here. Excel file name, folder path, sheet name, stored procedure name. This should be exactly match. If they don't, then uh, we will have errors. Now here I'm saying Excel file name fine that is we have provided in my case I have provided uh, my uh, customer file uh, and then the date part uh, will be added to it so see here we are adding that date part to it uh, date and time now as uh, we are going to write the data to the Excel uh, so I said a connection OLEDB connection new OLEDB connection OLEDB command and then we are building a string uh, for connection string uh, that's pointing to the Excel uh, uh, destination so here we have a provider microsoft.ace oledb 12.0 that's the provider i'm using and then i'm saying my data source is a folder path plus the excel file name so see that's uh, the file will be created now we are checking the file if it is already there so the deleted but in our case as we are using seconds and all that it will not be the case but think about a scenario where you want to create one file a day and you only have a year month and day so you remove the this part so whenever it run uh, next time uh, let's say you run 20 times this package in a day it will be keep deleting and uh, re uh, creating a new file for you so with a small change uh, you can change your scenarios now use adio.net connection from the SSIS package to get data from a table so get data from table it should be actually say get data uh, for store procedure results procedure okay here see even now we saved it we build it everything looks uh, fine the connection manager name is wrong so that is our responsibility to change it so I'm going to DB connection tech brothers IT that's it so in your case uh, you might have to have sales or whatever the database uh, or connection manager name you are using you have to change uh, here otherwise you will get an error when will execute now we are saying uh, string 
uh, that's a variable declare variable execute and store procedure name so this is going to fill the data uh, set uh, ds uh, with the store procedure results so that's good next part uh, we are getting the header now the results are saved in the data set we loop through and get the header information so you see i'm trying to make a column uh, and put the parentheses around so i can build that list of the columns once I have those list of columns, I added some extra uh, parentheses around it. So try to have exact format. So the column name should be parentheses start, ID, parentheses close, comma, uh, and all that. And uh, I'm, I'm telling it is a text type. And then uh, these different function, uh, there is uh, some extra uh, column as a part of that when I was adding it. So I'd remove that. Now, once uh, I have that, uh, see th there is a string, so this whole part I'm trying to build a complete uh, uh, column list uh, with the trimming and removing and adding and all those kind of things. So you can uh, uh, take a look by enabling the message box that show. Here, once I run, uh, this is a connection string that's uh, on the Excel. Once uh, I have the list of the columns, uh, I'm going to create a sheet. So how I would create a sheet, I would say create table and sheet name and sheet name is uh, provided by us in a variable. Remember, we have sheet name here. That's the variable value, and we have saved uh, in the sheet name variable in uh, our script task. Fine. Now, once uh, we run that, this is going to create uh, a new sheet in the newly created Excel. It's going to create Excel first, actually, and the Excel file, and then create this uh, sheet. Once that part is done, the next part is uh, reading uh, that table, and uh, from that uh, this table data table table in ds dot tables we have only one table fine it is going to read that table then uh, it is going to loop through the columns uh, and build uh, the string for insert so insert into sheet name plus a sql command value so that's the column list here uh, we have uh, um, then we have a uh, values so remember see here i made a even mistake here instead of values i have a value here that should throw error web let's test, test that out now this part is going to add the values itself so whatever the values exist exist for each of the row it is going to concatenate and build that value once that's done we are going to execute so it will execute and write the data to the excel file if this goes all the way, it will close the Excel connection and success will be ours. Now, if it fails, what happens is it will come to the catch block and here it is going to create a log file in the folder path we have provided and with the Excel file name, same Excel file name plus the log. It should have date time added to it and then it will write the exception to it. So let's uh, great. Now we save it, hit OK and run it. See, it failed. This failed part, I, I did by purpose, actually. Uh, when I was uh, testing my, that's why I missed that values. I posted that script, but it should be values. I was testing for myself, like, okay, how to create the errors and log them. So stop the package, come back uh, to the folder, and here is uh, our file. So my customer file dot log. Let's open it and say, oh, okay, syntax error in insert statement. Fine, we, we know that. Great. And uh, let's open the Excel. Do we see values here? No. It was not able to write anything so this is just a, a, a uh, you see that this is just a garbage excel uh, has nothing in that we can delete it let's uh, be uh, let be as it is doesn't matter and uh, we fix the code i'm going to come back here and fix the code now you learn how to write uh, the error uh, from a script task to the log file that's great uh, it really helps uh, I, i've been struggling with that so i thought okay why not to uh, put that information for you guys uh, you can use this try catch block uh, in other post uh, or videos i have posted uh, once you learn it uh, you can use the same code it's a really good idea to use it uh, now click ok and go back uh, and run your package completed so success is ours see green i'm so happy uh, here is our file so let's open it and you can see that all the records for returned by the store procedure now let's go ahead and test this scenario i'm going to delete these files we don't really need them 
now go back to the SSMS uh, remember here we have a uh, uh, select uh, everything from customer I'm gonna change this one let's alter this store procedure and now instead of everything I'm going to say ID sale person first name F name and uh, let's say we say city and uh, state that's all now we have everything but need sale person it should work let's see okay great now the table uh, sorry the definition for the, our store procedure has changed before that it was returning a lot of columns now it is returning only four uh, uh, columns now if we go ahead and run our SSIS package what happened let's run it completed successfully that's good news go back go back to the folder and take a look we see that we have ID sale person first name city and state that's awesome like uh, <laughs> because I have struggled with this uh, scenarios a lot and uh, with the uh, built-in uh, uh, Excel uh, destination uh, that's uh, not really easy to do these kind of things um, so with the script as is it's much easier um, it is it might be slow um, but you are not uh, uh, writing like a uh, three trillion records uh, you are writing maybe a hundred thousand or fifty thousand or maybe most of the time very less records uh, from your SQL to Excel uh, uh, and uh, this this will work just fine test it out uh, the speed and time and uh, um, I hope we can improve it but the, 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 this is at least the starting point uh, of where you can control um, the at least the, the part definition is changing and how to do it uh, and uh, starting from here you can further enhance them um, I hope uh, this uh, uh, video is helpful and I will see you guys uh, next time uh, I will put the link in the description for the code I have used so you don't have to go to tech Brothers IT and click there and here so you can always click on that link and open the script and use it thanks very much once again bye